Frank Gifford and the freshly retired Robert Craig Evil Knievel have the call from June 4th, 1977. Welcome to Tampa, to some of the Joy Chipman show, and I'm making like A.J. Foy. Well, we got a great afternoon coming up. You know, they're watching Ariel Rocket leave the Sidewinder crash. Ken Carter jumping over those tow trucks. Who knew that kid is? What is mother and father living on the track? Hey, funny wants me to wear that hat. Frank, this is Joey Chitwood. Hi, Joey. Hi. This is Joey Chitwood the third, and this is his car. My dad made it for him. You get out of it, let him take it. <laughs> okay, Joey. Go ahead. I've got a car running in Annapolis this year with Aggie Jane. I'm going to have you drive it next year for us. Ready you ready? <laughs> Chitwood family seems to go on with time. 34 years of stunt driving, and uh, Joey Chitwood Sr. was a man who uh, kind of inspired me to get started. And here, uh, here's his uh, little grandson. and. Uh, I gave him a car today that my dad built for him. It's quite a thing. A great little kid. Uh, Joey Chitwood's Auto Thrill Show. You've seen it before, but every time you see it, you see something different. Don Latre, you'll ride his motorcycle through a barrier of fire. It comes and there's the fire. It's burning. Ouch. Joe Gattuso is going to go with the rollover crash. Looks like he's driving a wreck to start with. It is over and made it. Now, that's exactly what he was trying to do. Let's watch Alex Job. Now, he is going to climb out of the car of Joey Chipwood, who is involved now in the two-wheel drive. And there's young Alex Job. He's a student at Tampa University, and he has to have a lot of faith in Joey Chipwood Jr. who's driving that car. You know? This is not an easy stunt to perform, Frank. Uh, he falls off of this thing uh, on the asphalt. Uh, he could get, get bit back pretty good, I'll tell you. Look at them come down the track, all three cars. They're getting close there. Oh, wow. Well, he, oh, he went hurt. down. Well, he's hurt, too. Yes, he is hurt, Frank. Well, even, even the Chitwoods have See down problems. there, is he all right? He's getting up. He's up. Take another look at this. He tries to get back in the car, and he just doesn't make it. And there he goes. There's a good example of a professional getting hurt, so this is something you don't want to try. When classic wide world of sports returns, daredevil Ken Carter wants to get in the car and try to jump 12 tow trucks. You're watching Classic Wide World of Sports on ESPN Classic. Mr. Chipwood, uh, 34 years, thousands of towns, countries, uh, but where did it all begin? How, how did you get started? Well, Frank, uh, it started when I was driving race cars. There's a fellow named Lucky Teeter that had a thrill show. We used to play fairs together. I'd race and he'd have the thrill show. And in 1942, he got killed doing this ramp to ramp jump and uh, his wife wanted me to dispose of equipment, and uh, I tried to sell it. Nobody would buy it, so I bought it myself and started out with it. What made you think uh, it would it would go like it did, though? Uh... Well, I really didn't think about that because I was driving race cars and making a good living, so I figured if I couldn't make it with that, I'd still have the racing to do. So I never that never entered my mind, but it didn't catch a hold, and we've been playing in the same spot for 33 years now and still drawing a lot of people. Coming up now is the aerial rocket leap. Tim Chitwood is going to build up speed somewhere between 55 or 60 miles per hour. He will go off the ramp, through the barrel, and on a ramp to ramp jump. Here Very dangerous. Boy, this is going to take some skillful driving to get through this thing. Oh, absolutely perfect. Tim Chitwood with the perfect aerial rocket leap. Let's take another look at it. You can see you cannot be off one foot to the left or right, you scrape the side of the simulated rocket coming through, and right down on that car on all four wheels. Earlier in the day here at the Golden Gate Speedway in Tampa, Florida, the mad Canadian Ken Carter arrived at the track in typical daredevil fashion, a helicopter, and he was going to attempt a ramp-to-ramp -ramp jump for a new world's record of a 12 tow trucks. And I think on this, uh, this lap right here, he gets up to speed and he'll attempt the jump. What's going through his mind right here, Avery? You've been in this situation. He wants to hit that takeoff ramp just perfectly straight, and this is going to be a tough, a tough jump. 
So Ken Carter's world's record attempt was a successful one. Even he hit just absolutely perfect. Yeah, he hit awful hard, Frank. I think uh, this particular stunt is one that he did probably better than any other car jump or truck jump that he's ever made. Boy, that thing just flies through the air. It was a beautiful jump. He gets out of that car in a hurry, doesn't he? Ken Carter, 39 years old. He's suffered 12 broken bones over a career that's spanned 23 years. Today, he's a happy man. So this is Frank Gifford, along with Evil Knievel, saying so long from Tampa, Florida. Let's speed to our next full circle and check out what happened to the Chitwoods. Although they appeared as entertainment at various NASCAR Winston Cup events as recently as 1998, by mid-99, the Chitwoods had suspended operations due to sponsorship problems. The Chitwoods were also quite popular in Hollywood, working the movie and TV circuit. They drove frequent stunts for shows like Chips and Miami Vice, and the Joey Chitwood Auto Thrill Show made nine appearances on Wide World of Sports, the first one in January of 1967, and the last one in June of 1977. Anybody who's ever had their car towed had to love the sight of Ken Carter clearing 12 tow trucks in Chitwood Show in Tampa. And what better way to end the show than with a successful daredevil jump? It all goes back to the preamble to every wide world of sports broadcast. The immortal lines that mention the constant variety of sports. It doesn't get any more varied than barrel jumping, cliff diving, and daredevil auto shows. Next time on Classic Wide World of Sports, we'll look at some more variety of sports, but we'll probably leave out the chess coverage. I'm Chris Fowler. Thanks for joining us on Classic Wide World of Sports. See you next time.